Hey there. It's the next day. We're get we're going to we're going to get through this. Uh, for those of you just joining the program, this is part 5 of 30 of the An End to Suffering series. Uh, it's something that's been percolating for a while. I wake up in the morning, my mind is clear, and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I thought I got to get this all out. And uh, have you ever noticed somebody cursing at an inanimate object? Like they hit their foot on something and they're just like, ah, oh, you blasted chair. Or uh, they, uh, maybe they <laughs> drop their toothbrush in the toilet. Or have you ever dropped your toothbrush in the toilet and you're like, ah, oh, stupid, stupid life. Ah, and um, I, that happens to me. And I think to myself, like, listen, I'm, I'm the only person in the room with these inanimate objects. I don't think these objects are doing this to me. And this gets to the topic of self-sabotage. That uh, the real question is, oh boy, I always get resistance with this one, is why are you hitting yourself? Why did you want to do that to yourself? And of course, the uh, knee-jerk reflex response is, well, I didn't. Nobody would want to hurt themselves. And I, I say to you that, uh, that uh, it's, it's more useful to ask that question. Why, why did I want to hurt myself? Let me give you some examples. Um, uh, one day I was with my young kids. This was about six years ago. And I, well, there's, a, there's like a little squirrel on the deck here. Wow, he's a, he's a brave little guy. He's not afraid of the giants. Anyway, I was, um, uh, this is back when I was a Mormon, and I was dropping my little kids off at a church function, right? And we were doing donuts in the church parking lot. Oh, it, it, it had just snowed. There was like an inch of snow. And they were just like whooping it up. We were having like this amazingly good time. And uh, then, so we got in there, we got to the cultural hall, which is like a, a basketball court looking thing. And there's a, uh, about a th almost four foot ledge, because there's a stage, right? So I decided to do a running jump. And the trick is you sort of catch your foot on the edge and your momentum carries you up onto the stage, right? But I, I did that and my foot slipped because I had compacted snow on the bottom of my, of my foot. And I slipped, and I sprained my wrist. And if you've had a sprain before, that's super painful. And so and I thought I had broken it. So as I was going through the day, I thought to myself, all right, I, I was in control of that whole scenario. I knew on a subconscious level there was compacted snow on the bottom of my shoes, and that they didn't have very good traction. So why would I want to do that? And I only had guesses at the time. And really looking back on it, I only had guesses. I only have guesses now that uh, that switch inside your mind is going to monitor if you're having too good of a time. And it's going to make sure that you're sort of beat back down to your regular level. Ever notice that? Like, oh, it's always something. And it's uh, like you, you get a windfall maybe of money. And then it's like, oh, then now this thing came up. Now the money's out the door. And you're sort of like uh, you're tumbling over and over, trapped in a current of the river. And uh, that's, uh, that's the self-sabotage switch. It's just keeping you safe, and all, but also safe from going up to the next level and having a, having a good time or having pleasurable experiences. And uh, at Valhalla, uh, where I am now, uh, and this is a bit of a, a working retreat for me. I was invited up to do the fantasy role-playing events. Um, at Valhalla, I would always get sick. Why just at Valhalla I would like get ill somehow? And I think it's the same thing. I think there's something in your mind that's so powerful that it's, it, can, it can make you ill. It can make you hurt yourself. And that's, that's pretty wild that it's like the, there's this, there's this uh, other element, this subconscious element that can actually hurt you. And I believe it can actually put a tumor in your body and, and kill you. Um, but of course, you know, uh, you'll have to figure that out on your own. Uh, this Valhalla, I kept hitting my head. 
the same, just like banging my head, even while I was here, just banging my head on something. And I'm like, huh, why do I want to do that? And a lot of times what I found is if I change it around and instead of blaming things on external forces, like, oh, this stupid inanimate chair, this uh, concrete thing that was in the way, it's um, instead of that, stop for a second and think, okay, why do I want to hurt myself? What's going on? Ask that Doctor Who uh, companion questions of what's really going on here. Um, open up your eyes like wider and think, okay, what's different about today that might make me, you know, might make that self-sabotage switch be flicking, flicking on. And uh, so what I found is if you want the suffering to stop, answer the question. Why do I, myself, want to suffer? What's going on right now that I feel like maybe I need to punish myself? Or pre, cause I'm, or it could be for something that just happened, a pleasurable experience in the past, or maybe that's about to happen. Or that in some way this little poltergeist inside my brain is trying to keep things in the status quo, try and make sure I'm not getting up there and being too happy. Uh, uh, for a while, and people don't like this question because a lifetime of blaming external forces, it's got a lot of momentum. And I remember there was one uh, time about a month where my wife was just, and she was, she was um, hitting, damaging the same finger over and over again, like slamming it indoors, jamming it up against things, dropping things on it. And I was like, okay, what's going on? And she's like, I don't want this, I don't want pain. It's like, yeah, but you may still be doing it to yourself. Your conscious self thinks it doesn't want pain. But uh, what I've discovered is if you answer the question, it goes away. It's the weirdest thing. Like I'm like, oh, it's because of this. And just acknowledging it out loud, it's almost like it breaks the spell. All right, well, that's my thing for today. And I really, I hope you've got some relief.